we'll get back to this. The crossbone. I'm sorry guys if I miss some stuff in the chat. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Redbeard, is this a SD Sazabi? It is indeed. Pretty nice, I have to say. Yeah, it does look pretty neat. Yeah, it's a very simple build. Wow, I just dropped it. Very simple build. And there's if you're if you're interested in uh, wanting to to clean up the seam lines and all that stuff, you do have some work cut out for you because there are some some kind of glaring ones, but overall not too bad. And I think once we paint this guy up, it'll look it'll look even nicer. Oh, forgot the backpack. There's also issues with this here. See this? Uh, you're being called a moderate. Uh, have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will catch you later, Mando. Thanks for hanging out. See these hollow parts? We gotta fill that in. We don't like that. It's like a big hollow gap. We're gonna have to do something about that. But yeah, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for hanging out. We're we're gonna carry on. Right, let's put the let's put Sazabi right here. Sazabi in the ball. And let's get back to this. We'll do this a, a little more. Again, this is a this is something where I feel like my my brain capacity can only go so far with these uh, with these kits with the <laughs> with the master grade Verka kits. But we'll try. We'll make a good. We'll make an attempt to go further. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, Mando for Ori, I wouldn't worry much about pre-orders unless you really like the kit. Uh, Ori, there's even pre-orders and Gundams. I'm gonna cry. I can't keep track of keyboards and Gundam group buys and pre-orders. You know, I just I just pre-ordered a kit yesterday. It's my first time ever pre-ordering something. So like, yeah, it is kind of like a weird notion to me. Um, I used to be very very on top of video games and video game releases and pre-ordering shit. So that's kind of my my like frame of reference. I was like, wow, pre-ordering in uh pre-ordering kits now. That's a thing. A glizzy. I'm gonna have to remember that glizzy. Or and this is to go even further beyond. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Uh, I-14. Do I have to do this twice? No. Okay, let's try and work on the upper body here. We're going to work on our upper body. We're skipping leg day, guys. And we're going to work on the upper body of this. We'll try and do this front page, and we'll see. We'll see how far we get. Um, and then we might wrap things up. We'll see. We'll see. Bit of a short one by comparison. But, uh... Yes, I have to admit, I'm feeling a wee bit off today, just in terms of like, I don't know, like my health? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, Ori, uh, let us know what you're thinking about, what kind of kit that you're you're considering getting. I, I'm not uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, but I love to know what everyone's building. Fourteen and fifteen. I am looking right now. That's actually part of the fun too. Is just like looking at websites and looking and seeing what's out there. Window shopping. It's also part of the fun. Yeah. Go for it, man. I find it really calming in a, in a lot of ways. Like, um, I, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I kind of come from Warhammer and painting Warhammer and building Warhammer stuff, 40K and, and Warhammer Fantasy. And I find painting to be really calming and relaxing. And the same thing for building, uh, although I'm not as good at it. At it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm still... 
Uh, I'm still kind of learning a lot of things about building and techniques. I guess I guess I'll always be learning, to be honest. But there's just something kind of nice and satisfying about building. So that's another thing that I really think is great about the hobby. You know, it's just this feeling of of building something and and you know the satisfaction of looking at it when you're done and you're like, yes, I did that. Redbeard hunting for gunpla is fun too. Oh yeah, like finding something rare. You know, like even so, I I mostly buy my gunpla at stores, like physical locations, right? And uh, a handful of times, I've been to like a small shop. You know, if I'm back in the big city, back in Toronto, I'll go to like a small little store, and then they've got like something that I've been looking for for years. I'm like, oh shit. Man, I'm working on Master Grade Eclipse, having a lot of sun fun so far. Is that the one? Is that the one with all them gold bits? All those gold bitties? Is that the one? Yeah, if you guys, uh, for anyone new here, or that is not aware, I do have an Instagram, my hobby Instagram, which, um, Nightbot may have spam, but you can also get there through my link tree in my in my uh, about page, my bio page. You can see my builds that I've built recently, the things that I've built and painted. Um, and I also started a Discord. You guys can check that out. And it's something where I'm just kind of getting used to it, and I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really know what the heck I'm doing with Discord, clearly, because <laughs> Mando had to help me out earlier today at the start of the stream with my Discord. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna grow it over time, and that's a great place to show what you've done, all of that stuff, what you've built recently. Uh, Redbeard, building Gunpla is like a meditation for me, calms my mind a lot. Yeah. Yes. I am totally on board with that. And it's like, you know what? I feel like the hobby really blew up thanks to the pandemic. You know, a lot of people cooped up inside. A lot of people looking for something to do. Um, and thus, Gunpla was like a thing. And same thing with Warhammer also. A lot of people getting into Warhammer, painting their armies, going through their backlog. But also, like, you know, at the at the height of the pandemic, I was, like, really dealing with a lot of anxiety. And it wasn't just the pandemic, just, like, life stuff. And, uh, yeah, doing these hobbies, doing stuff like this really helped in terms of um, just calming down. Same thing with keyboards. <laughs> but now you're leaving the world of keyboards. Where's the Discord link here? Let me help you out. I think we can do this. I think this will work. Ba -da -ba. Did that work? Yeah, I just started it like last week. Like, I just published it, so it's, like, it's pretty bare-bones, to be honest, guys. But, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna work on it over time. Do, do, do. What's going on here? Oh, so interesting. Uh, okay, it goes like this. Yeah, I, 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 I really would like to try and make my own keyboard. Because my current keyboard, by the way, is a piece of junk. <laughs> my current keyboard is like a piece of crapola. So, I mean, yes, I really should get a better situation. Oh, it goes this way, I think. Yeah, I think the, the little parts are very tricky for me and you know many master grade models are, are are large so you don't have to deal with too many fussy little parts although well, it still can happen but this master grade kit is actually kind of small just 
by virtue of the fact that the crossbone Gundam is very small. So that's a little challenge for me. That's it's a little challenging for me dealing with tiny little parts. I mean, that being said, I do I've built a number of Mecha Masume kits at this point, so I've I've dealt with tiny little parts <clears throat> with those models, and they're quite fragile too. Uh, some parts. But it's it's just kind of like a thing where I have to kind of adjust my mentality, I guess. Especially coming from uh, doing this basic this basic boy right here. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Uh, we got two shoulders. We want to chip away at this guy. We want to do a good job, of course. Okay, where does this go? Oh, it's something else. Uh, B14. Yeah, I've seen some really nice custom caps too. That's the other thing. Uh, I've, I've noticed that there's some folks out there that will like get these unique caps for maybe the escape button or F1 or something. For their keyboards. I really like that aspect too. There is an RX78 color scheme uh, official product keyboard. Have you guys seen that? It's pretty neat, but of course, like, it's pretty expensive. But then again, it's like, that's the hobby, as I understand it. What do you guys like though? What do you guys like? Do you guys like the quiet keyboards or do you like the more clicky mechanical ones? What do you like? I'm not sure what I want. I'm not sure what I would get if I if I were to do my own thing. I think if I were typing a lot, if I were to be doing a lot of typing on, on my computer, I would probably want something quiet. I don't do enough typing on computer these days. Okay, here, here's something else, guys, I'll, I'll mention right now. So for a little while, I've been talking about a game that I want to play on stream for you guys. I've been saying that it's really goofy, really dumb. Uh, but I haven't been able to actually play it yet. I like everything except clicky. Oh, you don't like the clicky. Yeah, so what's... What do you think? Uh, is there most? Is there more people that are into the quiet keyboards, or is there more people that like clicky? I think I want to do silent for my next build. Nice, stealthy. So do you put LEDs and stuff and everything? Smooth and quiet. What's up, Viper? How's it going, Viper? Nice to see you here. What up? Hope you're doing well. We are working on the crossbone today. Oh yeah, so I, I was talking about the game. I'll, I'll tell you now, guys. We're going to play it maybe on the weekend. Typing of the Dead. Since we're talking about keyboards. Since we're talking about keyboards, I might as well bring it up. That's the game I want to play on stream. Typing of the Dead. And that game's badass. I've been playing it. It just doesn't run well when I stream. Uh, cause, uh, cause I'm, I'm, I'm on a potato. I'm using potato, potato processing power. You've never, Carmi, you've never heard of Typing of the Dead? Yeah, stay tuned. We will play it then. It's literally a game. So, you, you know, um, it's a shooting game at the arcades. It's, it's called, uh, Something of the Dead. The real game, the original game is called blank of the dead i forget what it's called i don't really care about the actual name of the original game but sega later made an educational version called typing of the dead and it's so fun i love it how are you guys good at typing you guys fast typers i'm i'm okay but but that game is kind of exposing me the fact that i actually kind of suck at typing yeah nice to see you here viper Viper is smooth and quiet. Ooh, smooth and quiet. 
or yeah it's pretty even to be honest across the hobby everyone has their personal preference yeah maybe you're in a mood maybe the same person might be in a mood for a clicky one maybe later they want to do a a, a stealthy build is this how it goes okay roger that that just goes like that we do have to clean up this a little bit 110 to 130 words per minute damn oh beverage i got you i think i'm running low on my on my energy drink here oh shit i am let's just go for water then some regular degular water that's just a fake sound of drinking here's the actual water mm. Viper, typing of the dead is where my bro and I leveled up our typing speed. Shit. I got really good uh, in high school, but like I feel like I lost I lost my skills. House of the Dead. Yes, that's what it's called. House of the Dead, the original thing. But I'm all about typing of the dead. So yeah, maybe this weekend, guys, we'll get into some uh, typing of the dead. B. We need B. And that's a. Uh, I got it off of um, Fightcade as well. By the way, I've been uh, I've been messing around with Fightcade. Really fun. Reliving all the all the arcade days, playing some goofy ass old games and fighting games, fighting games that I may not have ever heard of before. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we had a typing class in high school, and uh, I was pretty fast, but I kind of suck now, to be honest. All kinds of games on Fightcade? Hell yeah. I mean, Typing of the Dead, you got Jackie Chan, you got Darkstalkers. Who's going to learn Darkstalkers with me? Come, let's play Darkstalkers. <laughs> Vampire Savior. I'm up for it. Yes, Carmi. Are you going to learn a uh, Big Butt Victor too? Are you going to become a Victor main? Yes, Fightcade. I think I'm going to ask Night Trap to kind of write up a little explainer on how to get started with Fightcade. And he'll put it up on the Discord and then, and then you guys can just kind of go from there. I think that might be the wave. Because I do have... There's been a couple of folks that want to learn it and, and how to use it oh you're gonna conquer that cake mm. Mm. uh ori i remember they put a folder over our hands and we had to type out a paragraph from a book holy shit that's wild that's like some martial arts <laughs> that's like some martial arts shit kung fu martial arts yeah i i have to look down so the letters, any letter, I'm good. I can type out any letter. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but <laughs> I'm pretty good about the letters. But when you, if you ask me to do like colon, semicolon, comma, that's where I fuck up. That's when I have to suddenly look down. I'm kind of a, that's, that's like my thing that messes me up. And you know, I've gotten worse over the years in terms of typing just because mostly nowadays I type on a on a tablet or whatever and then you know there's like and thanks to thanks to the tablet and I don't really know where I'm typing right I'll just spell things incorrectly and then they'll just do they'll do like an autocorrect thing and they'll spell it right for me and sometimes I just rely on that too much you know I'll just be like yo just I'm just gonna type really poorly I'm just gonna mash the keyboard vaguely in the in the way that I want things to be actually said, and then you figure it out. Computer, you just you just actually make the real sentences, and that's <laughs> I've honestly that's kind of how I've been typing lately, just really poorly, and then just using the power, relying on the power of of uh, that to help me out. Autocorrect.
Uh, Ori, are there special tools for these kits like files and stuff? Yeah, that's. Let me tell you something, Ori. The world of the t when it comes to the tools for these kits, it's almost like it's almost like a hobby in and of itself. You can go really, really deep with uh, with the tools involved. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, there are. I will say though that if you're looking to just kind of get in on it and you need to get some tools, you gotta get yourself uh, some nippers. This is a fairly basic uh, nipper from the God from from the God Hand brand. Uh, it was like 20 Canadian, but then there's a higher end version of God Hand clippers, which are really nice. But again, if you're kind of looking to just start, you know, something like this will, will 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 do you fine. You got something like that from keyboards, and then here's a Exacto knife. You gotta get a knife as well, and then you gotta get a uh, some sanding some tools for sanding these these things right here if i flip them over they are uh sanding sponges right here and these are various grits from 1000 all the way up to 2500 and then this here is a 5000 grit sandpaper as well as i've got um you know just loose paper like this sandpaper so you want to get like a variety of uh of grits of sandpaper um, and this, these sponges here, Carmi's like, yes, there are tools. Yeah. So this came in a kit with a number of, um, of sanding sponges, as you can see, and they're the same grits. However, they have a varying degrees of, of thickness to the sponge. And I also have a glass file. This glass file is pretty, is pretty useful as well this kind of does my heavy the heavy lifting in terms of removing nubs but between that like like get some nippers uh an exacto blade and some sanding sponges i think that's a pretty good starting point i think that's a pretty good starting point and like yeah there's things like glue and all of that stuff uh but you'll need that you might need that later, but again, many kits are snap fit, so you don't need to deal with that too much. I think that's a, that's kind of like a good start. If anyone else has any suggestions in terms of like what's a good thing to start off with, please feel free to, to mention it. Okay. I do know that for some, like for some clippers and nippers, they're kind of like engineered for cutting metal, which I kind of assume might be the ones that you have for keyboards. I'm actually not sure. These ones are sort of made for cutting plastic. So that could be a difference that you might wanna sort of be aware of. Uh, you have everything except uh, grits above 1400. Yeah, you're definitely going to want uh, s uh, some higher grits for sure. And really, that's the big culprit is is like you want to get those grits to uh, to help you out with removing the nubs. And that's something that I struggle with too, to be honest, is uh, is getting a really nice finish on the nubs. Uh, and really, really removing them. Sometimes I can do a good job. Sometimes, sometimes I have some issues. It also depends on the plastic and whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason why you would want those nubs. Nubs? That's the main reason why you'd want some grits of sandpaper. Oh, from a woodworking project. Cool. So you do some of that too. And my dad was really into woodworking and stuff. I have a number of um, a number of uh, woodworking tools and stuff. But uh, again, that's all really just in storage. But yeah, I that's something that I enjoy watching on YouTube as well. Just watch people do some woodworking and stuff. Generally speaking, uh, one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube is just people making things doing things, making things, 
crafting. I love I love watching stuff like that on YouTube. The person Zed was uh, building a desk for me and had that sandpaper left over. It was his way of paying me back for building his PC. Ah, well, that's nice. Build a PC, get a desk. Sweet. Yeah, you know, getting a custom-made desk is is a uh, uh, getting a desk made like for your own purpose is really great. Um, just because everyone's needs are are different, and sometimes like something straight out the store isn't gonna sort of work out. My desk presently right now is, is a store-bought one, but uh, it was something that my family had really thought. <laughs> it's a very thoughtful gift um, in terms of, of how I would use it and how I would need it. And yeah, it survived the move. I was very close to just selling it uh, when I was going to move. But uh, but yeah, it survived the move, and I'm glad I kept it because it's, it's really useful. This is a fucking engaging conversation, guys. Well, yeah, desks are good. I like desks. <laughs> Why won't you go in? Ah, there we are. Sometimes you kind of need to give a little more, a little extra oomph to the parts to get them to fit. Yowza and Spade, a little two-piece of both of you guys coming in. How's it going, both of you? Spade, I'm doing well. Nice to have you in here. And also Yowza, nice to see you. How was your, uh, how was your gaming session yesterday? I was, I was actually lurking a bit, both in your stream and, uh, and Jose watching guys play GBO. I mean, it seems like it was having some issues with the servers and everything, which sucks, but I mean, that's the whole point, right? The whole point is that it would be a server test. Ori, beverage, I gotcha. Got some water. Just got some Wawa. For those that are just coming in, I finished this all today. <laughs> it's the um, it's the SD Sazavi, and it's a cute little guy, and I think it's gonna look great uh, with some customizations and some painting and everything. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that uh, fellow here. And now we're working on. Crossbone. I always want to say Pirate Gundam. <laughs> uh, I always want to just say Pirate Gundam. But yes, Crossbone. We're working on Crossbone. Uh, Yaza did just a day stream uh, for more GBO2. Holy shit. So you're going in hard. You're going in hard in the paint. It's over now today. Am I correct in saying that? Or soon? Spade going good. Finally fixed my girlfriend's PS4 controller. Took longer than expected because I had to make a couple of shell modifications and brainstorm how to do them. Oh shit. Wait, so what was wrong with the controller? And how did you mod them? That's cool though. Again, I was just talking about how I really enjoy seeing people and hearing people uh, uh, make and make things. So that's that's totally on brand. For me, very interesting. Yar, <laughs> pirate, pirate Gundam. Yes, I'm. I'm kind of thinking about making him more piratical. Tbh, I don't know how, but I'm thinking about it. But I'm happy people are loving the game. Nice. It seemed like. Um, it seemed like. Uh, Jose and and some others might have had some frustrating moments with it. But again, that's, you know, it's just kind of like the learning curve, right? Seems like a learning curve. An extension? An extension? Oh, it got extended till Friday? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, 
shit. Fry Dizzle. Yowza. I'm gonna ask you a question. It's a, it's a highly personal question. I hope you don't mind. But do you know what a glizzy is? Do you know what a glizzy is? No one tell him what a glizzy is. <laughs> if he doesn't know. Yowza, Yowza is a ute. <laughs> Yowza would know about the about what the ute are up to. <laughs> you know what a glizzy is? <laughs> I was shook. I was shook. I was like, how could this be a gl how could how could that mean the thing that it means? How? How? And then Mando, he looked it up. He gave me the whole breakdown of glizzy. Of the glizzy. And now <laughs> fuck. <gasps> I'm gonna have to go to a hot dog. Oh, oop, shit, I almost gave it away. I'm gonna have to go and ask for a, a, a glizzy. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. I swear to God, that has not made it to Ontario yet. We're pretty slow on our sling, too, I have to say. A dude's thingy? <laughs> <laughs> Yowza. Yowza. What more can I say? I think I think I think Yowza was like overthinking it. I think Yowza was like it's got to be something it's got to be something naughty. That's all these guys talk about all day long. That's all these these schmucks talk about. So it's got to be something dirty. But no. Um, hot dog. Hot dog. I mean, a dude's thingy and hot dog. People have have made that connection. But I just found out today. Okay, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm new to all this. I'm new to all the terminology. But apparently, it means hot dog. Leaked. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, yeah, I leaked it. Spoilers. Glizzy. The hell? Hot dog? I don't know. Apparently it means hot dog, Yowza. I just found that out today. And I'm shook. My worldview is, is, is... will never be the same again. Hot dog. Anyways. See, I thought, I thought Yowza would be like, yo, hot dog, I know. I got you. I got you, fam. Because I'm a Ute. I'm a Ute. And I know I know what all the Ute are saying. Yeah, I was, I thought <laughs> oh my god. Spade, a bad battery and drifty thumbsticks. Uh, thought it was going to be a simple MOBO. Uh, what's a MOBO? And battery swap. Turns out Pro and Base PS4 controls are designed differently. Oh, really? I didn't know that. As for what I had to do, well, that's too much words for a single message. Okay, okay, I understood. But basically, you had to do a lot of stuff. You had to be a cool engineer guy. Cool mechanical fixing up things guy. And you, you got it. You did it. You nailed it. That's sick. Motherboard. There you go. See? I'm learning I'm learning words all the time. Mobo, Mobo. Mobo and Glizzy. Just gonna put that on my in my journal. In my bullet journal today. Thing I learned I learned a new word today. Mofo? <laughs> I learned a new word today. Uh Yowza. Do you think I should just play the PlayStation version? Or should I get the PC version? Because, I mean, the PlayStation version is like is like the one that is functional and works, right? Okay. Is this the right way? It should be. It seems right. Yes. Ta-da! Both work, I see. They both work. <laughs> I 
Now you can say slap a glizzy on that mobo, yeah. Exactly. It's wild. You know, sometimes I'll watch like a, a, a British streamer or like someone from Australia and they'll explain or they'll be talking about they will be talking about um, their own slang, their own unique slang, and I'm like, dude, how how is it that we actually speak the same language? How is it that 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 both of these things, the things that you're saying, is is considered English? <laughs> I thought we are. I thought we're all speaking English here. I thought you British people invented the language, and. Um, but man, the slang, I, I mean, I get it. Slang is an entirely different thing, but wow, some of the slang words. Carmi, y'all add me on PlayStation? I didn't know you had a PlayStation, Carmi. What the hell? I didn't know that. I'll definitely add you. Just that if you put on PlayStation, you're gonna need to play catch up. Oh. But you know, truth be told, I feel like even though the PC version is new, you're still gonna have to be playing catch up, right? Like catch up, catch up. Still gonna need to be playing. Like people are just gonna be still freaking really, really good at the at the PC version, right? What do you think? Nineteen and sixteen. Yeah, let's finish up this part, guys, and do the assembly, and then we'll, uh, we'll fuck off. We'll, uh, we'll buzz off. Add me. Okay, yeah, so I'll DM you my, uh, my PSN. Spade lots of delicate and precise cutting, moving, and cementing, basically, like the thing... The thin plastic bar that holds the touchpad in place. I had to cut that from the shell and move it up a little and then cement it. Holy smokes, man. Wow, like, yeah, kudos to you to, to for fixing all of that. That is, that's really awesome. Because, again, like, um, I think that's just how my family was like, you know? Like, we always just tried to fix things. Do you know what I mean? Like, if something was broken, our first instinct wasn't to just trash it and, and get the new thing. But to fix it again, that's like comes from my dad and and a lot of my family are like that. And in recent years, especially when it comes to things like technology and, and controllers, like I t I would definitely just get a new thing, right? Because I don't know, I don't really know how to fix it. And my brother's more technically minded, but but I mean, yeah, that's still a big time challenge for me in terms of uh, uh, fixing things. So in the case of a controller, everything that you're explaining now. I would just be like, yep, let's just buy a new one. But yeah, that's awesome. I really, uh, I really respect that. It's very cool. I think that's legitimately cool. Yeah, so, but the issue with a GBO2 PC is that people from PlayStation are playing the PC port as Anakin to the young Padawan slaughter. I get it, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't really matter in that sense. That people are just going to be good regardless, right? Exactly. Spade, I'll add you, Carmi, if you'll have me, but disclaimer, I'm mostly on PC these days. Yeah, I think most uh, most of these folks, Carmi, a lot of them are PC. I'm mostly a, P a PlayStation guy. Uh, Yaza, your PSN is what my Twitch channel is. Okay, cool. I'll definitely give you an ad, my dude. Spain's also some non-educated engineer type of guy. I'm all self-taught. Yeah, that's sweet too. That's cool. That's that's uh yeah, again, respect, man. That's awesome. That's sweet, dude. That's the uh that's the thing that like I try to do as well as much as I can as I've said like you know try and find solutions to problems and try and fix it you know the, rather than the first instinct is to is to, to trash it or whatever as much as I can within my own capability and again I'm not that technically minded uh, or, or electronically minded but 
that's a weird thing to say electronically minded but um but like like within the hobby you know i kind of instead of where my dad was like really into fixing cars and fixing like like uh, uh woodworking and all of that stuff uh instead i'm it's i'm like the same except it's like for uh for robots like little plastic robot toys <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm mostly a PlayStation dude. I'm like the only person who uses console mice. Oh, really? Yeah, I know you. I know, I do know that you're mostly PlayStation, but yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. You're not an Xbox guy. You don't like Xbox. How come you don't like Xbox? Yeah, the, the oh, sorry, I didn't mention that that we're working on Crossbone, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on MG. MG Verka. Sorry, why is it taking? Why am I so slow to say that? Verka Crossbone. Yes, that's what we're working on today. And we're taking our time because this is tricky. I, this is my second Verka model, and really only my my first like robot version of a Verka model. So. So I'm kind of just trying to take my time. Xbox, what? You guys don't like Xbox? <gasps> Why don't you like Xbox? That's where you can get all the awesome Gears of War and Halo. Actually, I kind of like Halo, not gonna lie. Don't get uh, don't get bacon started on 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 uh, <laughs> on freaking Xbox. Okay, this is fitting a little loosely. It should it should be more snug. We just kind of have to smush it in. Technical term, smush. But also, I would just want to be very careful not to overdo it and break something. Uh, Xbox is none of single player games to get me back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're trying. They're trying, Yowza. They're trying to get you back. They're trying to win your heart. They're trying their hardest. Why won't you? Why won't you accept them? But yeah, like single player games, that's what I mostly like too. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, even with single player games, I feel like I haven't played many single player games lately. You know, like Spider Man, Ghost of Tsushima, from PlayStation that is. Uh, the new God of War, even the, the 2018 God of War, I haven't played that much. Yeah, this is a little loose, and we kind of have to smush it in more. Which it kind of makes me nervous, but here, let me see something. Yeah, that goes in pretty well. Here, okay. Just on PlayStation because there's more games that catch my attention in terms of single-player games, which I have noticed. Hmm. But you play multiplayer games too, Yowza. You gonna tell me that you're not playing multiplayer games on on PlayStation? You gonna sit here and tell me you don't play PlayStation games? The new Dark and Darker Alpha test was really fun. <gasps> was that the game where it's kind of like a battle royale, but in a dungeon? Because my brother was showing me that, and it looks really, really cool. That That's a PC game. Mecha games are usually on PlayStation. True that. Uh, Armored Core, I, I, I'm assuming that Armored Core is going to be a multi-platform game, right? Correct. It was incredible. Shit, I should have played it. It looked really fun though. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen, there's this game. It's like a battle royale, except in a dungeon. Okay, let's just leave that a little loose. <gasps> you got Zone of the Enders on PlayStation? PlayStation the original wait PlayStation 2 cuz I know that there's a Zone of the Enders like remake <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Wah. Okay, got to be very careful here. Let's just get these arms on and then we'll wrap things up and and once again everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh 
today I think we had we recovered we recovered it's a little shaky at first at the stream I don't know I was just feeling a little off it's feeling a little off I may have even had an outburst Carmi Carmi uh, witnessed such things possibly <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're you know we recovered, we recovered. I think we uh, we did a lot today. We did a decent amount of stuff today, and uh, shit, this this last part is 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 puzzling me because I'm very scared to. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> listen, listen. There's a certain vibe that we go for on stream here, and you got a vibe. You got a vibe. It's always been multi-platform since Armored Core 4 and 5. The older games were only on PS1. Oh, really? That's my frame of reference. It's the, all the old shit. <laughs> I heard the sigh. <laughs> okay, Carmi, we're gonna have to come up with a secret code. You have to come up with a secret code, Carmi, and then you can bail me out. Bail me out somehow by like just bringing up some other shit. Just or or. You know, hit me up with a fart with reverb or a nut. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, I'll say something, you know, code word, and then, and then you can uh, act. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it went in nicely. Just gotta rotate things. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, cake. I'll be like, gosh, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm really in. I really want some cake right now. I could really go for some cake. There you go, Carmi. Then we can just talk about ass. We can just talk about video game buttocks. There you go. Yes, Carmi with the save. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. I like it when we can talk. I like it when we can talk and we can shoot the shit and just talk about stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? Or if I can learn about you, you guys. There we go. This is in nicely now. I like that. I enjoy learning about what you guys are into, what you guys are doing. But what I'm not too fond of is when I'm being talked at. Do you, do you know what I mean? I think you guys know what I mean. But I'm not too crazy about just being talked at and just, you know, being like, like someone just comes into the chat and just just talks at me. Do you know what I mean? I like conversation. I like talking. I don't like being talked at. If we can make that distinction. Nods. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Char Carmi... <laughs> I'm sure Carmi knows all about that shit. Anyways. She's a pro. Carmi be a pro. I'm gonna have to get some top tips from Carmi on how to how to deal with that. I mean, it happens, it happens. What can I say? Whoa. That was, that was challenging, just getting the arms on, but they're good now. That was a little challenging, because you kind of have to finagle it in a certain way that uh, they don't really show you in the instructions. But that is the arm. This is the progress thus far for Pirate Gundam. I want to say Pirate Gundam, it's Crossbone. I want to say Pirate, I want to say Skull Gundam. That's the progress so far. Here, I'll show you guys. You can put them big hands, then catch these hands. Look at them big hands. <laughs> and we did Sazabi today, which is really cool. And thank you once again.